Hey, what's going on, everyone? My name is Zayden, and you're at Reef What You Sow Gardening today. Um, I got a little bad news to tell you guys. Or, if this is good news, it's not good news at all. It's probably bad. I don't know if anything will happen, but let's just try to hope something good will happen. I'm, as my video's uploading, it's probably, probably uploaded by now about the corn. Um, this is another video. Now, our corn, what we plant here in Central North Carolina, we plant golden bantam. This is our first year planting golden bantam. Um, the corn plants look good. They're nice and healthy. I think they're a little bit low on I on iron or something, but they're, they're pretty good. They're not spindly stem stalks. They're really thick stalks. Um, flat stalks, nonetheless. Now, the corn, it's producing tassels and if you don't know what tassels are it's that that's the male so this is the female that makes the corn ears so this will get pollinated but the thing is this is not even making any pollen so I don't know what the heck's going on with this so we got to do something about this I don't know what's going on this is not good at all so we got corn over here, and this pot corn, and this over there. We got some of this corn. We got some of this corn that's just going crazy. I mean, this corn is like really, really good. This corn, we had to chop and drop some because it was not growing as good. It was basically just withering away. But let's check this corn row over here. Without stepping on anything. So this is male tassel corn. Um, it has male tassels on it now. Hopefully a female tassel or two so we can get some corn. Because I love corn. Even though it's not healthy for you. Because, you know, literally corn. That's all Doritos is made out of. Which is corn. They just rolled. How they make Doritos and Cheetos. They probably steam the corn and they roll it. Out, it's probably most likely field corn because they ain't sweet. They most likely roll it out and just process it into like unhealthy garbage. So this is, you know, real nice corn. This is a probably golden bantam. Could be a, a what is the word? Could be a really old variety of corn because. I mean, this looks nice. It's really good corn stems and ears on it, but I just don't know how. I mean, I'm a pre-teenager. Um, let's see how tall this is, because technically this is not cheating, because this is still parts of the corn plant. So if you reach it all the way up here, it's up to my chest, nearly to my throat. So this is, did I say I was a preteen? Yeah. I'm preteen, because this is almost up to my throat. And that's how small the plants are, but they're producing. So, let's prune this tomato plant. Hopefully, these corns will produce, because I really want corn. Like I said and said and said. Last year, if you were a fan of my channel and watched me for a while, you probably remember last year in the fall, we planted some... I think purple corn, I called it Zayden corn after my own name, but I said, hey, it's not my variety. I have to breed a variety in order to make it my name. I can't just call something that already exists my name. So, last year they did horrible. They were like this, they were tall as, I don't know, they were tall as this Chinese grass. This is how tall they were, the plants. So now they're just producing good plants and stuff. Because the other day I saw um, one of our, not our neighbor, like some per people that live like, uh, like 10 blocks down from us. I saw a trash can because they are going to pull the trash can out today. So they pulled it out yesterday. There was old corn stalks in there. So that means that they can grow corn, too, here in, in North Carolina. 
I don't know what they do, so I might have to ask them, hey, how do you grow corn? Because I, I got to learn, you know? Really, everyone I watch on YouTube, that 1870s homestead, crazy days, Deep South Homestead, David the Good, Self-Sufficient Me, all those people just grow corn, like, with ease. I mean, I don't know how the heck to grow it. Number one, I don't have the soil, the good soil, because, like I said, this is North Carolina. We don't have good soil here. Number two, I never really grew corn ever. So this is technically my first time growing it up to this size. Number three, I mean, there's just so things wrong with this plant. The tassels are not opening. I mean, they're 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 not producing pollen but the female tassels are fine so i i we better we better get some just fertilizer for these things because i got we we need it all right we need the starches or else i'm gonna be really really sad and pissed mm, just like this pumpkin vine it's just rolled over you don't need that rolled over. Let me fix it. Alright, I fixed it. So the pumpkin's looking better. Alright, so. Got one over here. Looks good. So as always, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. That helps me so much. Please subscribe. Support the channel. And help me out. And thanks for watching. And keep on sewing. And also... Share this video around if you even learned anything for growing corn directly in ground. Don't do it like I did because I did not put soil or fertilizer in the ground when I planted it. So, I don't know. This is my first time.